In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate x squared times e raised to the 4x dx. If you see something uh, being multiplied to e, uh, a variable multiplied to e, or a variable multiplied to a trigonometric function, let's say sine x or cosine x, we're going to use uh, the, the biparts method. Let us assign x squared as the u, e raised to the 4 x dx as the dv. And use the formula. Let us first make a substitution box for this one. u is x squared. The, the differentiation of x squared will be 2 x dx. While the integration of dv, this is the dv, the integration of dv e raised to the 4 x dx will be 1 fourth times e raised to the 4 x or you can uh, you can multiply that or arrange in this in this manner e raised to the 4 x over 4 use the formula uv where is your u? x squared. The, the v. e raised to the 4x over 4. Minus. The integration. Of v. This is the v. e raised to the 4x over 4. Times 2x dx. 2x dx is du. Times du. 2x dx. Arrange this as in this uh, in this manner: one fourth times x raised uh, to the second power times e raised to the four x minus. We are still using the formula minus two over two over four because two times one fourth. There is a one fourth here. Two times one fourth is two over four. Uh, place it at outside of the of the integral sign integration of e for x x dx arrange this place the x there because the x will become the the u variable while the the exponential will become the dv the exponential is always the dv or the or or a trigonometric function let's say a sine and thus it can also be the the dv part Use the formula again because we are going to integrate this the second time. This the the first time, and this the second time. We are going to make uh, another substitution box, which is uh, number two. What is your u? Your u is x. What's your, what is your dv? Your dv is e raised to the four x dx. The differentiation of x will be dx. The integration of e raised to the 4x dx is e raised to the 4x over 4. This is the same as this one, except this one. If you will notice, this is the same, except this one, except the differentiation. Going back here, we're going to use the formula again. Uh, just copy this, copy this down, place, place a big bracket here, because this, this is, uh, we're going to integrate or use the formula once again. We're going to use, uh, this the second time we're going to use the formula. What is the x? x. Um, uv, u, x v is uh, e raised to the 4x over 4 minus the integration of v du what is your v e raised to the 4x over 4 you're still with me du is dx there you, have, there you have it the dx integrating this by integrating this you should make a parenthesis so that mm, we, will, we won't be confused in in distributing or multiplying 
e raised to the 4x over 4. If you integrate that, there will be a 1 fourth because uh, because of uh, integration of 4x ah the differential differentiation of 4x rather there will be a, a, a 4 at the denominator if you recall that what, what i say a while ago uh, you will you will place uh, after differentiating you will place it at the denominator multiply that to uh, 2 e raised to the 4 x over 4 place place a parenthesis copy this and bring this down bring this down after that in this step multiply that after multiplying that this is the result copy this once again construct the equation the, the expression and then arrange this in this manner so that we, we won't be confused multiply this by distributing 1 half times x times e raised to the 4 x over 4 1 half times uh, e raised to the 4 x over 16 don't forget to to, uh, to include the negative because if you didn't include that that would be a big mistake negative that would be a negative 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 and negative that would be a positive and this is the final answer i hope this makes sense thanks for watching